Hi everybody, it's Ramona. Welcome back. It's time for Weekly Wax Empties. A couple of candles, a lot of sugar and spice melts, so let's get started. Um, I almost finished a Yankee Candle uh, Aromatic Orange and Evergreen. And this was, I'm, I don't buy a lot of Yankee Candles and I haven't since the winter. But in the fall, um, I watched Anthony's from the Candle Cafe review of all the winter scents. They sounded really good. Then Yankee Candle had a sale on buy three mediums, get three free. So of course I did. And overall, I would say I'm not impressed. The, thread, the, th the throw overall was not great for all of them. Um, this is maybe the third one. I think I have three left perhaps. Anyway, I'm just kind of burning them just to kind of use them up and get them out of my stash and they're kind of hanging over my head. So anyway, so I got almost uh, done this one and the, the wick migrated way to the side. Um, and you can see there's still, I don't know why this did not have a great throw because there is still, although it's dried up now, there was lots of um, oils in it and there's still a lot of oils floating around in the bottom. Um, but the throw was minimal and so I'm just not really going to be purchasing too many Yankee Candles in the future. Not that I have in the past, but I got hooked in with the sale, blah, blah, blah. That's how I roll. Um, another one I burned was the new Better Homes and Gardens Essential Oil Collection in Lemongrass and Ginger. And this smelled really good on cold. Loved it. Uh, I have a melt in there as well. And even still on cold, it smells really great. Really authentic, fresh sliced ginger. I can smell the ginger and I love ginger. I can smell the lemongrass as well, but you can really smell that ginger. It's really great. But anyway, um, I reviewed it last week. It had like medium throw at best, at best. So then I put it in the melt in my crock for like a day and a half and I still got medium throw at best. So I won't be purchasing any more of those candles. I still haven't yet used any of the melts yet but I'm looking forward to uh, getting the melts going as well. Okay, and then also this week uh, I made, a, you, this was a candle, a Mainstays candle in uh, blue hyacinth, which I melted, uh, it didn't fit in the crock, or it was really tight in the crock, so I put it on a flat, flat plate warmer and I made some tarts out of those. Really nice, like a nice light floral. Uh, yeah, it's really really good. So that was a good one and This mainstays candle made I believe if I'm not mistaken it made I Think it made a whole mini tart pan tray, which is 24 tarts It made either 20 or 24 tarts so and there it's really nice and then you know what? No, that's a lie. That's a lie. This I think made 16 because then it also melted a large Better Homes and Gardens candle. And this is 18 ounces, I think. This is 18 ounces in strawberry, strawberry pretzel bars. Um, and uh, yeah, another shout out to Kim, Candy Kim 1978 for the, coming up with putting the, the candle label on the bag. But anyway, this is I don't get pretzel in it. Maybe it's in the crust. Now, I know one of my other subscribers bought this candle and she got the pretzel. I'm getting strawberry cheesecake and it's good. It's a good one. I'm really liking it. And the reason I melted it is because these little mainstays candles burn great. Uh, I've only had maybe two or three of these big Better Homes and Gardens candles and they tunneled. So I just melted it and it's like, well, let's just call it out. Let's just melt it. And the final uh, candle that I burned is one of the Falls uh, Homework Special Edition candles in Wild Fig and Red Currant. This was really good. Nice tart berry scent. Not a blueberry, not a blackberry. It's a berry and it's tart, but it's, uh, I guess it's the, the currant giving it that tart note. Anyway, uh, I'm loving these. It, per it burned pretty good. A little bit of, you know, smudge on the sides, but nothing. It didn't tunnel. It didn't smoke or soot. So I'm going to tear the label off this and I'll be cleaning this out for some purpose yet to be determined. So I'm going to set that one to the side. Okay, so then for wax, I finished off. I had started this some time ago. 
um, Yank, uh, American Home by Yankee Candle, Time for Tea. It was okay. It wasn't as good as Tea Time, uh, than Sensationals, but it definitely was kind of like an, a lemon tea, a lemon tea. Um, let's see. I got through, or almost to, through, uh, two Scentsy bars, uh, from Scentsy Saturday. A Wink and a Smile, which was a little light. The scent is good. Um... But it was a little light, if I recall. So for me, this would not be a repurchase. Uh, this one, however, would be a repurchase Snowberry. And that also was uh, last week or the week before um, Saturday Sensi Review. So there's a review up on that. Excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry, that was kittens. Kittens. Then I melted Nutty Butter Cookie Bars. This was a, a Walmart Wax Wednesday. This was so good. I would like to get one or two more clams of this, I have to admit. This was like melted milk chocolate. It wasn't cocoa-y, like a hot cocoa. It wasn't dark chocolate. It was melted like a, a, dark, like a, like a, a Hershey's chocolate bar. A little bit of peanut butter, but I got mostly chocolate. Really good. Uh, this I got from Canada Kim. It was a gift, uh, uh, rose gold. And this was um, a light rose scent with some amber in there. I think that's the amber and rose. I'm not big on amber, but it was okay. I didn't mind it. Uh, this also was a gift, fall in love with Tuscany. And I know she sent me this because I just came back from Italy and I'm like completely infatuated with Italy, with Rome. This is kind of like a light, um, a light cologne scent, but like a clean cologne, not a heavy, nauseating headache cologne. It's like a nice, clean cologne. I did enjoy that one. Uh, also from Canada Kim, Woodland Magic. This was, this also, no, this is also cologne. This is kind of a strong cologne. This one I wasn't so infatuated with. Um, and then I still have two, clay, two uh, cubes left. I felt like melting some Cider House donuts. And yep, it's good. And it's just like those donuts look so good to me, like with the crunchy sugar crystals. Yum. So there's, I still have two of those left, so I need to save that. I need to save that. Okay. So then, um, Vintage Rogue Candles Lavender Soda, and it was good, however, it's not near as good as Zape Bath Lavender Soda. Uh, Canada Kim gifted me with a couple of little pieces of the lavender soda. It was, it was good, but like I said, Zape Bath really has it knocked out on that one, and um, I was having a conversation with Kim and she said because I don't I think I placed one order from Zape and it was it was a lush uh, sampler and I wasn't super impressed with it actually but um, she said that they're gonna be going to ready to ship um, mode I guess she, there's some clams up on the website already and there is some lavender uh, soda up on the website from Zape Beth. Uh, another gift uh, from Canada Cam is Tea Time, and it was tea and lemon sugar. It was good. It was a little bit light, though. So, because for me, the standard of tea now is my favorite, which is Sensational's Tea Time. And that just is so strong. It's so good. And that, I kind of compare everything to that. So, that's my favorite at this time. Okay. Uh, I did some Rose Girls Blackberry. Now, while I do like blackberry scents, um, this was kind of perfumey to me. It was kind of perfumey to me, so I um, melted it with a root candle sparkling champagne that I had chop chopped up, chunked up, and I'm still kind of getting through that. So I would melt the champagne and the blackberry, and that was a little bit better for me in my in my liking. I yeah, I did find it a little perfumey. And then I had a lot of sugar and spice that I got through this week. Um, let's see, this one was lavender peppermint, 
and I think all of these threw really well. Yeah, yeah, that was really good. Hey, Rox, Roxy, Roxy. Um, rosemary mint, also really strong, and I would cut these in half. Those, that's two melts in those. Mac apple marshmallow fireside, that was really good. I really enjoyed that one. Yes, it was definitely, you can get the marshmallow fireside out of that. Chai tea latte, also really good. Yep, I still have another one of these left that uh, Canada Kim sent me. Lemon curd marshmallow, really good. Really, really good. Oh, yes, it was really good. Definitely strong on the lemon, uh, on the lemon curd, a little bit of marshmallow. Blackberry shaving cream. I've never had any shaving cream since until I made place this order. And it definitely is blackberry. And mm, look at that one. Just, like, she owns the place. She owns the place. And her little sister just sits right over there quietly, just like, oh, okay, Roxy. Anyway, uh, blackberry shaving cream. I'm still kind of on the fence about this one. I, like, I, because I'm not sure what shaving cream is supposed to smell like. If it's supposed to be a cologne scent, that's kind of what I'm getting with the blackberry. I, I can't describe it because I'm not sure if I like it or not. Oh, lemon curd marshmallow. Okay. Uh, blackberry lemon curd chai tea. Loved it. Yep. Loved it. And finally, what time is it? 11 minutes. Uh, another lemon curd marshmallow because this was really good. Oh, one was from Kim and one was mine. Uh, this was really good. This I definitely would repurchase. I would definitely repurchase that one. It was so, so good. Okay, so that's it. It's Friday night. I need to hurry up and change because now I'm going out for crawfish and beer. It is so good. Spicy little crawfish. Now, I'm from the Northeast, Nova Scotia, where we eat uh, lobster. And we have a big lobster tail, big lobster claws. So when I move down here, it's like, what? What? I'm going to eat this little bitty thing and all I'm going to get is a tail? But they are so heavenly spiced, heavenly and what I meant to say is heavily, but heavily and heavenly spiced with spicy, um, they boil the crawfish in a spice bath, more or less. And they're just so spicy, just all you eat is the tail. That's all you can eat from them. But it's just more of like a social thing. This, you suck the heads, you eat the tail, you drink the beer. It's really good. So that's what's on my agenda for tonight is a crawfish and beer. So I hope you guys have a great night. I'm talking super fast. I know that. Gotta go. I'll see you soon. Have a great weekend. Bye. And tomorrow is Sensi Saturday. Don't forget. Bye.